I think it's important that I might be important to go ahead and put this out now, being that something may have happened again recently that has gotten me and possibly even a tray sick. This is a story that happened back in around uh, 2012, uh, 12, 13, and it has to do with one of the instrumental people that uh, are in this, uh, is in the mix of all of this. Probably one of the big, 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 big players. And uh, what had happened is uh, I had started sleeping on the couch because me and this person uh, were dating and weren't getting along too well. So I had started sleeping on the couch. And um, I would just fall asleep here, then I would go to bed is what was happening. So I'm laying on the couch, I think I was watching David Letterman or something like that, and uh, I had fallen asleep and I woke up to this person. Um, they were, I was on a couch, on their couch, they were on top of me. I, mean, I woke up and I, I don't know, I thought that, I thought there was something sexual going on. <laughs> but uh, she was on top of me and she had my shoulders pinned down with her knees. And, you know, I woke up kind of confused, kind of thinking, I don't know what's going on. Is this sexy time? What the heck's happening here? <laughs> Uh, and she just kept messing with me and uh, the one thing that I noticed was uh, you know she's a doctor I don't know what she has access to uh, I didn't I don't remember waking up to any pinpricks or anything like that but she had me pinned while I was sleeping uh, I didn't know that until I woke up and uh, because her knees were actually on my shoulders holding me down that's why I thought it was some sort of sexy time stuff or something. Um, but that wasn't what it was at all. And her camcorder was next to her on the uh, the coffee table next to the couch. I don't know at all. Uh, you know, it wasn't like we went into a fight or anything. There's no reason for that. And uh, I think we just went to bed. I called my mother the next day and I told her about it because things were getting kind of weird about this whole situation. And then... Uh, my mother was involved anyway. She had met Carm. Uh, she had met uh, Carmen, and so she knew. Uh, which that was also a very strange situation. But I'll explain that one later. But uh, that's the first time back in 2012, I think it was, uh, that concerning all this, how all of this is breaking down. Of, I guess you'd call it an intrusion or some sort of just strange behavior uh, related with someone possibly doing something to me kind of without my permission I guess you'd say uh, I don't know what she was doing I don't know why she had me pinned down I don't know why she had the camera there I don't know if quite honestly we didn't break we broke up not too long after that I, I had thought she had pumped me full of um, <laughs> female hormones or something <coughs> there's no uh, no better thing than to break up with your boyfriend and uh, they have boobs later it's hard to get a date uh, which is also kind of a simple part of uh, that and the Ducati motorcycle. And that's another story that's coming. But I'm going to end this for, uh, here for now. Uh, my mother knew about it and uh, just shrugged it off. I think my sister knew about it. Um, there's a lot of this uh, and it's really, really strange. Because uh, I still don't know exactly what the heck is, uh, this is all about. Not completely. Not completely. I mean, this isn't the way it's supposed to be done. <laughs> so I still don't know what the heck uh, this is all about. But I'll just leave it there.